Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Guerrero and back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a face reveal along with a story. I didn't want to make a video, big video about this face reveal thing. Um, I guess it's just going to be more common on the channel now that I got the new uh, C90 webcam today from Best Buy. So I'm just going to get into this uh, live stream, I guess, and then yeah, I'll see you guys in there. Peace. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Guerrero and back again with another video and in today's video... I'm going to be doing a story about, um, it's a really confusing story, it's not what it sounds like, um, I think I should say, but it is really, it's an odd thing to understand, uh, is what I'm trying to say, um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's just get right into it. So how this story started was, I was, um, it was the end of the day, on a Friday, it was just a few days ago, and I didn't really think that this would happen, this is a really weird story, um, and it's pretty scary to be honest, but what was happening was, so... There's our school, and then you take a right, and you go down this kind of long road, and then, um, and usually that stoplight right there is forever, it takes forever to leave, like, I listened to a whole song, um, and then, and the light didn't even turn green, it's really dumb, um, but usually, you know, there's this kid on our bus, I'm not gonna say his name, you know, just cause, yeah, it's not, that's not nice to do, but there's this kid on our bus, and he's always a troublemaker, he's been a troublemaker since, like, the beginning of the year, he just came to school, and, um, He's always gotten in trouble, uh, you know, from the bus driver, the principal, and all that. And what happened was he was sitting there. I saw him. He was eating an orange, you know, doing minding his own business. And he had the window down, which is normal. You know, we're allowed to do that and everything. And I'm not sure the full story about this section right here, but I'm pretty sure he threw the orange peel at a car next to us because you just know that this guy is just a total savage. This guy would do anything just for a little attention. Um, he's really, really annoying. Um, but yeah, so he threw an orange peel at the car next to us. And the guy next to us just so happened to be... Um, I have no idea what was up with him. He was just in a really, really bad mood that day, I'm guessing. Um, I'm not sure what happened, but this dude was just really furious. He went out of his car, and I saw this because everybody stood up in the bus and was watching him. He went out of his car, and he went to the bus driver's door, you know, where, like, the, uh, where everybody steps in. He knocked on the door, and the door opened, and my, my bus driver was like, you know, what happened? And he's like, told the story and everything. The guy went back into his car, and when he went back into his car, again, like I said, that this stoplight was, like, a really long stoplight. So he was sitting there, and he was just, like, cussing at the guy. He was looking in the window, and the guy that threw the orange peel was just, like, he felt so embarrassed. He was looking at, like, the bus driver, just, like, red-faced and everything. And um, and and then I looked over at, like, the guy that got angry, and he was just cussing at the guy. He was looking right at him uh, in the eyes, and it was, it was crazy, you know. So I'm not sure how long, uh, how, you know, much time passed. It wasn't that long. Um, but when we were about to get off, this guy pulled out a knife. And he, he had one of those, like, uh, what's it called? One of those knives, like a, like a CSGO knife, like a butterfly knife type deal. Um, and he pulled it out, and it wasn't, like, right before we were about to go. It was probably, like, ten seconds before we were going to go. And, you know, the kid looked over to the guy. I looked over at him. You know, everybody kind of, like, settled down from then. You know, all, all the little kids in the front of the bus were all sat down. And then some of the people were up um, in the back. And the guy just, like, flicked it out. And, um, and it was really scary because, you know, when somebody pulls out a knife, um, and then, of course, he can pretty much do anything from there. I mean, with things happening today, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty sure times have changed. And this guy, you know, you don't know what's going on with this dude's life. Maybe, uh, you know, he just got a divorce. He's quit his job or just things like that. You know what I mean? So anything could have happened from then. Um, I'm pretty sure the kid that threw the orange peel didn't see, but everybody was like, oh, my gosh, you know, the guy has a knife and stuff. And the guy pulled it out and then started, like, jabbing the air and stuff because he had his window down and then he started like yelling at the uh, kid that threw the orange peel and stuff it was a really scary experience and then after that um when the light turned green uh we took the left and then the guy behind us actually started following us um and then he was he wasn't going like dangerous driving but he was cutting in lanes and stuff um, and then going from lane to lane, he looked like he, uh, it was like one of those movies where they put, like, their body forward, and then they have, like, the wheel, you know, like, that type of deal, um, but then it just kind of, you know, left down from, or went down, you know, just eased on, uh, from there, um, and then, and then just, like, around 10, uh, 15 minutes later, everybody forgot about the situation, but this is just a pretty crazy story, you guys might think that it's not the craziest, but of course, I mean, if you're, um, you're, like, just a few yards away from a guy with a knife that you don't know what's going on in his life so i guess like the main lesson of this story is you don't know what's going on in other people's lives so don't be don't be doing things that you shouldn't be doing you know it's a kind of a good lesson i guess but that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to like down below and subscribe if you guys are new 
I will be doing a, I think, Jerky XP giveaway uh, at 250 subscribers, and then a Control Freak giveaway, probably a Control Freak giveaway and a Jerky XP at 500, then a 1,000, I'll do a special giveaway, maybe like a scuff or something like that. Um, because I love doing these giveaways, I did one uh, at 100 subscribers, and the guy, and you know, I didn't, I wasn't a big YouTuber at 100 subscribers, I didn't get a lot of views or anything like that, um, and the guy won, you know, I only had like a few entries, probably about like 10 entries, so you guys do have a bigger chance of winning since I'm a lower, uh, subscribe channel, but yeah, that's it for today's video, if you guys did enjoy this video, and you want to see more face cam videos, don't forget to like down below and subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.